What's up guys, TechLash here and today in this video we are going to discuss all about the foldable smartphone. So if you were rich enough to buy those or you were curious enough to see how the technology works, this video is going to be for you because today in this video we are going to discuss two major companies which were giving us foldable smartphones a couple of months back. I'm talking about Samsung Galaxy Fold and Huawei Mate X. Now the story starts with Samsung because Samsung was teasing their foldable device for quite some time now. Samsung has been dreaming of making a foldable smartphone even before the launch of Galaxy Note Edge which was the first device to come up with the curved display. Now after that Samsung was continuously teasing us that they are working on a foldable project and finally the Galaxy Fold was revealed to the public and it was a brilliant device and everyone was excited. On the other hand the Mate X from Huawei was not known by anyone no one was expecting it to come out but then suddenly the leak started to come out and then it was released as the first 5G foldable device from Huawei. Now both of these devices were expected to come out very soon but both of these devices are suffering major problems. In case of Samsung it is related to the hardware while on the other hand in case of Huawei it is quite related to the software side of things. Now Galaxy Fold was actually shipped out to couple of uh, YouTubers to actually review the device and talk about it. However when they started reviewing the device most of the devices started to break out and uh, most of the time it was due to the fact that there was a thin film which Samsung calls a part of display but YouTubers thought that it was just a screen protector and after removing that the whole display just went off. So Samsung recalled all those devices and Samsung also officially delayed the launch of Samsung Galaxy Fold and now it is confirmed that it has been delayed indefinitely which means that Samsung is going to make some major changes in the design of the phone so that it does not break that easily. While on the other hand Huawei Mate X was not suffering any kind of problem when it comes to the hardware because uh, many people people had actually tried it, they folded the device and uh, there were not uh, any kind of issues that was seen with the device. But the problem with Huawei Mate X is that this was using Android version from Google which means that the software used to uh, run all the foldable applications was coming out directly from Google but now you know that Google has directly banned Huawei which means that Huawei if they are going to launch their foldable device need their own software which is not ready right now so if Huawei wants to launch their Galaxy Mate X they have these two options uh, either they can go with an older version of Android and just limit the device to Android Q because after that there are no chances of Android updates coming to Huawei devices or on the other hand they can launch the Mate X directly with their own operating system called the Hongmang so that they can update the device indefinitely whenever they want and however they want to. Now the interesting part is that unlike Samsung, Huawei never revealed the official release date of Huawei Mate X which meant that they can release the device at any time in the year. However, recently we have seen that Huawei Mate X was listed in the 3C certification which is a mandatory certification when it comes to China because if you want to launch a product in China, you have to pass it through the 3C certification and that means whenever you get a 3C certification, it is most likely uh, a product which is coming out where very soon in the market. Now Huawei Mate X is not the first 5G phone to pass that 3C certification. In fact, a phone from Huawei called the Mate 20 Pro 5G was the first device from Huawei with 5G technology to pass 3C certification. Now that means either Huawei is planning to launch both of these devices uh, together in the market or Huawei is planning something big and they want to launch their Hongmeng OS with a bang. That means uh, they are going to use these 5G phones to showcase the power of Hongmeng OS because frankly speaking the whole trade war is related to the 5G technology and what better way to give answer to the Americans just by launching two 5G phone with their own operating system. However it's all based on rumors and leaks and uh, the thing is Huawei does not have an operating system just like Google because Google has worst experience when it comes to software development while on the other hand Huawei is just a hardware manufacturer so Huawei will be needing quite some time to develop their own software. And when it comes to their own operating system, uh, things are not easy because 
they need a single operating system which can work on all sorts of devices because right now uh, even the windows platform is uh, not available to huawei and that is the reason why the mate x uh, laptop lineup is also suffering quite a bit so i'm pretty excited about the mate x and i personally believe that it is going to come out uh, with android at least in the international variant and in china maybe they are going to launch it with hongmeng os to test out the waters and if uh, the response is great then they are going to launch it internationally with the hongmeng os and maybe there are going to be two different variants one with the android and what been hongmeng and maybe hongmeng os will have some better features to entice the customers to buy that hongmeng version so i want to know what are your opinions on the foldable devices personally i believe that they are quite uh, interesting devices and they are very required when it comes to uh, moving forward in the technology but if you talk about the practicality of both these devices i believe that samsung is like 50% practical and mate x is like 30% practical so i will not recommend anyone to buy these foldable devices at least for now because uh, technology is getting cheaper very soon and whenever some new technology comes uh, after one year you are getting them in mid range devices so i would recommend uh, you to wait uh, even if huawei mate x comes out uh, don't just go on the bandwagon of buying it but it is a sort of a cool device so if you have that amount of cash lying around you can personally buy it if you're new to the channel do subscribe because we try to upload daily content on this uh, channel and we talk about different stuff so it's going to be quite enjoyable uh, do like the video subscribe and i will see you in the next one